Okay, so welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna go over on solving for an unknown exponent, except now in a formula. So where we do not know all the numerical values for all of these different variables that we have. I do encourage you to watch the video on solving for an unknown exponent, and that was kind of trying to find numerical answers. I'll put a link up above to that, so please do watch it. And here I'm going to break down these five examples and then solve and isolate for whatever it is that they're asking me for. And for that, we're going to be using logs because we are having our unknown in the exponent. So here's our example number one. Let's give this one a try. So our exponent is right here. And when you know that your unknown that you're solving for or isolating for is in the exponent, then what you want to do is you want to first be able to isolate for the base with the exponent. So what I mean by that is, okay, so this is our base with the exponent. So it is e to the exponent x. So that box serves as kind of as our unknown. We're going to get rid of everything else and just leave e to the exponent x so that then we can use logs to solve for this. So my first step will be I want to get rid of this y. So I'm going to divide both sides by y. So that y is going to be gone. And now all I'll have left is 3m over y is equal to e to the exponent. Now, once you have this, now we're going to use a log in order to solve for our exponent x. And that's what I was referring to, okay, to try to get you to watch that link if you haven't watched so already. So in this case, so our answer for x is always equal to, so it is a log of whatever we have on the opposite side of our base with the exponent. So we put that in brackets. If it's only one single variable, we don't need to put it in brackets. But here we have that. So that's this right here. And then we always divide by the log of our base. So that base is e, and that's what we put here. Now, by the way, the letter e actually is a number. It's a natural logarithm, okay? And it's 2.71 and so on and so on. So I won't talk about that here. You can look it up or maybe in the future I'll do a video on this, on the e. But at the moment, it's not needed. We're just trying to solve for our unknown in the formula. So that's the answer for x. Now you might say, well, that's a weird answer, but it will be a weird answer because of the fact that we're using logs and we do not know what m is, we do not know what y is, all right? So because we don't know what these variables are, this is the best we can do, but we have isolated for x. That's example one. Let's take a look at example number two. Here is another example. Copy this, bring it down, paste it. And now let's go ahead and solve. So we wanna be able to isolate for n. So once again, so your first job is to try to isolate for the base with the exponent. So you find, so in this case, here is our base with the exponent. So t to the n, and now we wanna get rid of everything else. So we don't wanna have that one over two, and we do not wanna have the a. So we're gonna be getting rid of that. Let me copy this down here so that I can work with it. So to get rid of, so I'm gonna multiply both sides. So notice, to get rid of the two, I can multiply by two. So I can do that on both sides. To get rid of the a, I have to divide by a so that the a cancels and then the two cancels here and they're gonna appear on the other side. That's going to now leave me with, so 2 times d divided by a. You know, don't forget that that d is over 1. And then on the opposite side, I have tn. 
Now, as soon as you've isolated for the base with the exponent, now is when you use your log. So in order to find n, so n equals log of 2d all over a, and then always divided by the log of whatever your base is, in this case, t. And there you have it. You've isolated for your exponent n, in this case, in this formula. All right? So that's what we have there. Okay, let's take a look at example number three. So this one looks a little bit harder. It looks like there's a negative. So we're gonna copy. We're gonna try to use the skills we had learned. So now, and I'm going to take this and copy it there. So once again, we wanna isolate for T uh, subscript h, it looks like. Well, t h is in that exponent there. So notice, so what this is saying is, this is saying that I have two to the exponent of negative t all over t h. And that whole thing is the exponent. So our goal, first goal will be, we wanna be able to isolate for the base, which is two with the exponent. That's our first goal that we wanna do. So in order to do that, so I'm gonna divide both sides by a. So that a will be gone, and I'm gonna have y over a is equal to two to the exponent of t all over th. Now, this is your exponent. We know that our exponent, so our entire exponent right here, so negative t all over th equals to log of this, all right? So we have y over a divided by always the log of your base. So in this case, it's log two. That is actually a number we could plug in. Now, our goal here is to try to solve and isolate for th, so we're not done. So here, we're trying to isolate for this th right here. Well, so first off, okay, so notice, okay, so what I have is, so t over th, so th is in the denominator, right? So to get rid of that th, I'm going to, so first, I'm gonna say, all right, well, I can multiply both sides by th, okay? So that would be it. So that gets rid of that, and I'm gonna get negative t equals, all right, to all of this junk here right now. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and then copy it, paste it down, all right? But I'm solving for th. So now I do not want to have, I don't want to have this log, all right? I don't want to have this, and I do not want to have this. Here, I just want to have th on its own. This is all I want. I just want to have th on its own because I'm solving for it. Now that log of y over a and the log of two, I can get rid of. How do I get rid of that? Well, let me copy this, duplicate it. I'm gonna make it a touch smaller. I'm gonna make it a touch smaller. So here we have to use our skills of trying to. So I'm gonna get rid of this. To get rid of this, I have to multiply both sides. All right, so I'm gonna do that. So I have to divide here by log of y over a. So that will cancel this out. And then, log of two is going to cancel that out. All right, so that's gonna cancel out here. And of course, you have to do the same thing on the opposite side. So on the opposite side, you have log of two all over log of y over a. And now all you have left on the right-hand side is th, and now you have negative t 
multiplied by log of 2 divided by log of y over a. And that's a hard one. This really tests your understanding and ability to manipulate formulas to obtain the desired unknown. So that's the answer for th. All right. That leaves us our next example, which is this one. I'm going to take this, copy it, bring it down, paste it. And now let's work with that. So we want to be able to solve for n or isolate for n. So here, this is n. So my first step is going to be, I'm going to get rid of this PV. All right, so that's going to cancel. And it's going to just give me 1 plus r to the n is equal to this FV over PV. So that's the first step. Now notice that the exponent n is acting on that 1 plus r. So it's acting on the whole thing. So now I've isolated for that exponent. My base is 1 plus r. So in order to solve for n, so n equals, so that will be log of fv over pv divided by log of the base. The base is 1 plus r. And there you have it. So this one was simpler in a sense than the previous one in order to be able to isolate for that n. So that's example number four. Let's take a look at the last one. Our last one here. So that is right there. So this one is uh, looks like a crazy one. Let's take a look because this is going to really test us. Or maybe not, we'll see. Sometimes they look overpowering. So isolate for T. All right, well, T is right here. Okay, so here, I'm going to just get rid of this. Delete it just so that I have space. So my first thing that I'll actually do is, because I noticed that it's a negative T, it's in the denominator, I'm going to use the exponent rules all right so the exponent rule so the exponent rule is this if you have x to the n and the, this is negative this equals to the same thing as x over n meaning if you want to get rid of a negative in front of so a negative exponent then all you do is you take the reciprocal all right so it just flips the reciprocal over so what that says is that if you had 1 over, so in this case it's r minus t, this is the same thing as r to the t because it just flips it over. And I can put a link up above to all the exponent rules if you're interested in those. So if I do this, then this is going to simplify things for me. It's going to be 3rt equals to t. 2 minus t1 and now let's solve so again your goal is to be able to isolate for your base with the exponent so I'm gonna bring this over to the other side so that's the first thing that I'll do this is gonna be t2 minus t1 minus this V next I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides that's going to get rid of this, and it's going to leave my base with the exponent alone. So I have t2 minus t1 minus v all over 3. And from here, we can isolate for t. So rt is equal to log of all of this junk, so all of this, copy, paste it, that's all of that log of that divided by log of the base which is r and there you have it that would be your final answer 
So I hope that this has helped okay, at least one person. So trying to go through these examples, I encourage you go back, try all of them on your own. Don't just watch them. Okay, we'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.